Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Khurani, host on Click Digest, and this is one of the most interesting phone comparisons of 2014, where I'm gonna compare you versus me. So you have the Eureka from you, which is a sub brand of Micromax, and we have me from Xiaomi, where we have the Redmi Note. 4G as well as 3G variant both on the table and we have them pitching against the U Eureka by Micromax. In this video we are going to pitch all three phones against each other. We are going to see how the Redmi Note fares against the U Eureka. We are going to compare all the vital factors which includes display quality. We are going to test the camera quality. We are going to test gaming performance. We are going to test the software features. We are going to test the battery capacity, specifications, features and everything that you need to know about these phones. Let's get started. First and most important thing that I'm gonna compare is the design, build quality, and the feel of the phone in hand. All three of these phones are very similar when it comes to size, display size, display resolution, as well as the physical form factor. They all have 5.5 inch display panels. They are all high definition 720p displays. In terms of thickness, the Redmi Note is slightly thicker at around 10 mm, whereas under 9 mm, the U Eureka seems much slimmer. But for a compromise, you get a slimmer battery as well, which is 2500 mAh in capacity compared to the 3100 mAh battery that you get on the uh, Xiaomi Redmi Note on both the 3G as well as 4G variants. Let me quickly show you what lies under the hood of these phones and talk about the SIM card as well as the connectivity options. Under the U Eureka, you have two SIM card, SIM 1, SIM 2 and there is a memory card for expansion. It comes with 16 GB internal memory whereas the other two come with 8 GB internal memory so this is a plus and at the same time it is a 4G dual SIM phone which is a big advantage. Coming to the 4G variant of the Redmi Note, you have only one SIM card slot and one memory card expansion slot. This one comes with 8GB internal memory out of which around 5GB is available and it comes with only one SIM card. On the other hand, you have a dual SIM variant of the Redmi Note as well but this one is not 4G compatible. This is a 3G SIM variant and it comes with two SIM card slots, SIM1, SIM2 and comes with expandable memory. This one also has 8GB internal memory out of which 5GB is available and on the other hand the U Eureka has more internal memory it is 4G as well as dual SIM so in terms of SIM options the U Eureka is clearly a better choice. When it comes to use of material premiumness and choice uh, of finish the U Eureka seems to be slightly more premium because it uses anti-slip material which is moon dust a silver or grayish color it has nice finished metal buttons which have a good texture to them at the same time it is fairly slim and feels rich to hold in hand the xiaomi redmi note although is very very sturdy and solid to feel is kind of slippery and attracts fingerprint because of the glossy surface at the back and it is not as anti-slip as compared to the yu eureka in terms of aesthetic both 3g and 4g variant look alike for the uh, xiaomi redmi note and the U Eureka stands out in terms of design. It looks much smarter and much more premium compared to the other two devices that we have here on the table. Next thing I'm going to compare among these three phones is the display quality. So first of all, just to give a fair chance to all of these phones, I'm putting them all three on maximum brightness. Right now they have their settings turned up to the maximum brightness. Let me play same video on all three of these phones and give you a perspective of how well they look when it comes to playing videos it will give you a fair idea of how vibrant the display is so this here is the U Eureka and here we have the Redmi Note uh, 4G as well as 3G variants
as you might have observed the color temperatures are slightly warmer on the U Eureka compared to the other two devices where the color temperature is slightly on the colder side and there is a slightly more bluish tinge at the same time all three displays are performing very well the best brightness and contrast are seen on the U Eureka as well as the 3G variant of the Redmi Note whereas the 4G variant is slightly on the darker side and which I highlighted in the comparison of the Redmi Note against each other the best displays among these three are definitely the U Eureka as well as the 3G version of the Redmi Note to compare the audio quality of these phones on speakerphone I'm going to play the same track on all three of them one by one and let you decide which you find to be the better one The U Eureka has a problem of sound muffling when put on a flat surface. It sounds much louder like this. But when I put it on a surface, it gets muffled. The same problem is being faced with the Redmi Note as well. The 4G variant which is in the middle is best sounding among these three phones followed by the U Eureka and then followed by the Redmi Note 3G variant. However, if you listen to music on either of these phones on earphones, you will get similar and very good music experience. Next up, I'm going to do a camera quality test on all three of these phones. I'll first shoot same picture with all three of these phones uh, with the rear camera and then same picture with the front camera and show you the results. So let me put it in automatic mode. This is the object that we are going to shoot here. I'll just touch to focus and click. And this is the image. Let me try the same shot with the Redmi Note 4G that we have here. I'll again touch to focus and shoot. Now I'll do the same with the Redmi Note 3G. And here we have the results right in front of you and all three look very sharp and real and natural. Let me zoom in a bit and see how well the details come out to be on all of these three shots. And as I can see and probably you can also see on camera, the results are much sharper on the U Eureka as well as the Redmi Note 3G variant. But the 4G variant is not doing the image processing as sharply. You can see the text going slightly blur uh, on the 4G variant of the Redmi Note whereas the image processing engine on the 3G variant is better. And among these three, the rear camera of the U Eureka seems to be slightly better compared to the other two, closely followed by the 3G variant of the Redmi Note which seems to be very good in terms of camera performance. Now let's test the 5 megapixel front facing camera of all three phones one by one and see how well they perform when it comes to taking selfies. And we have the results here. As you can see the images come out to be clear and sharp on all three. But again, U Eureka seems to have a slight edge and which is very comparable to the shot that we have taken with the 3G variant of Redmi Note whereas the 4G variant is again not producing as sharp results as compared to the uh, U Eureka. So again, in the front camera and the camera processing and the overall results, I find the U Eureka to be on top closely followed by the Redmi Note 3G then followed by the Redmi Note 4G. Next I'll talk about specifications and performance and as you can clearly see from these numbers at top we have the Redmi Note 3G variant which comes with 32,500 plus score on Antutu version 5.3. We have tested the other two phones with the same version of Antutu. We have got a very close score of 31,387 on the U Eureka and much lesser score almost 60% uh, of other two phones which is at 21,700 
clearly the chipset that is powering the 4G variant of Redmi Note is not as powerful this is Snapdragon 400 clocked at 1.6 GHz comes with 4 cores whereas the other two phones are much more powerful the U Eureka is powered by uh, an octa core 1.5 GHz Snapdragon 615 chipset whereas the most powerful among these three is the MediaTek 6592 which is clocked at 1.7 GHz that we find on the 3G variant of the Redmi Note. They all come with 2 gigs of RAM so in terms of uh, multitasking they are very comparable however in terms of graphics processing there is a different picture that we see from the graphics benchmark utility which is the Nina Mark II. We get the best graphics scores on the Redmi Note uh, 3G variant at 61.6 frames per second whereas we get a score of 57.2 frames per second on Redmi Note 4G and 55 frames per second on New Eureka. Now let me quickly show you a gameplay to give you a real idea of how well the graphics come out to be. First we'll play on New Eureka. This is the Eureka by you. Let's see how well it performs. We are playing Frontline Commando 3, which is a fairly graphics heavy game. And this is the Redmi Note 4G which is the least powerful when it comes to benchmark scores but it has got the best sound quality among these three phones. This is a slightly different level that we are playing here but this is the same game. I am able to control, aim and shoot very well. This is the Redmi Note 3G. This is the same game that we are playing here and at the same level. Again seems to be doing really well. So when it comes to gaming performance, all three of them are fairly equipped for running moderate to heavy level of games. Next thing I'm going to talk about is the software and the user interface that you get on these phones. The U Eureka is running Cyanogen Mode 11 which gives you a lot of interesting functions. For example, a lot of customizability when it comes to functionality as well as features. On the other hand, these two phones which are from Xiaomi run MIUI version 5 and they will be upgraded later to MIUI version 6. They are both very nicely configured when it comes to features and Cyanogen mode is equally good and it is a de debatable topic you can say that Cyanogen is better compared to MIUI or MIUI is better but in my opinion they both offer very good functionalities and feature set over stock Android. Next thing I'm going to talk about is the value for money. The 4G version of the Redmi Note is priced at 10,000 rupees which is the highest among these three followed by the U Eureka which is at 9000 which is the same as the price of the 3G variant of the Redmi Note 3G. At the same time these two phones the Redmi Note 3G as well as the U Eureka are dual sim phones whereas the U Eureka is clearly better because it is a dual sim plus 4G phone so if you want a 4G phone with dual sim functionality the U Eureka is the phone to go with. But there is a slight downside is that it comes with a lesser battery capacity of 2500 mAh. You still claims that Eureka has a good battery life because it is a very well optimized chipset when it comes to battery performance. Summing up my comparison, looking at these products, if you want a stylish product which looks better and has been priced more aggressively and gives you more features like a dual SIM 4G capable phone, you Eureka is clearly the better choice among these three phones closely followed by the redmi note 3g which is very good in terms of performance but it lacks 3g functionality so if 4g is not your priority you can pick a redmi note 3g however if 4g is your priority the u eureka is a clear winner over the redmi note 4g so the choice is very clear number one is u eureka number two is redmi note 3g and number three choice is the Redmi Note 4G. This is what I feel about these phones. But what do you feel? Do let us know in comment section below. 
what do you think do you think our choice is appropriate if not then what would you pick if you were to pick one of these this is all we have on this comparison of the redmi note with you eureka we hope you enjoyed watching this video and you found this useful if you did don't forget to give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below and make sure you watch our other videos as well i'm leaving some direct links on top of your screen for other videos in the playlist of you eureka as well as redmi note for our latest videos and future videos on these phones and other interesting videos don't forget to press that red subscribe button below this video to get latest video updates as soon as we release them this is all we have on this one this is your host rohit khurana signing off thanks for watching